How's it going everybody? I'm Ryan Welch. I'm with Triple J. John Jefferson Jr. Welcome to Enter Code Reviews. And we are in the month of March and we are opening up some really cool fun stuff that we like. Not necessarily like a specific theme, it's just, you know, there's been so many great collectibles that have come out in, in the past, well, many years. But lately, yeah. lately there's been a lot. And in the previous videos, if you haven't checked them out, definitely do. Uh, we've opened up a couple of the McFarlane Batmans. Mm -hmm. um, we had Death Metal Batman and we had his uh, McFarlane's version of Batman. The gold label is, Batman. Which was pretty cool. Yeah. So we were talking and one of the cool things about collecting and one of the fun things, see it fits the theme, right? One of the fun things that come with some be some characters, I know, right? I'm, I'm losing my mind. So that come with some characters is, is a build a figure. Okay, so basically Ooh. what that is, is you have a wave of anywhere between four to six characters when you collect them all, they'll have a piece of uh, of a character that you can put together. Could be an arm, could be a head, could mm -hmm. be a leg, could be a chest. Right. And and it's one of the fun things besides collecting the figure, it's kind of cool seeing the packaging with it. So Google search if you haven't the Age of Apocalypse line for Marvel Legends. Jean Grey came with the, the body of the build a figure and his name is Sugar Man, which yeah. is this forearm, just gruesome beast dude. Right? Nightmare fuel. Yeah, he's a nightmare. He's uh, yucky. He's super yucky. But he's cool to put together, like just to see like how all the pieces tie in. I haven't built him yet because I don't have all the pieces. Right. Working on it. Working on it. Um, that's just that, the downside. We love the build a figure. You got to collect the waves or find some people that will sell it to you. Yes. Uh, shout out Utah Toy Hunter Group on Facebook. Um, <laughs> usually there's some good guys that are either selling just the figure if they want to collect the build ones or vice versa. Mm -hmm. So anyway, good dudes to trade with. Thank y'all. Um, also, I hate you guys for uh, what you did to my wallet. I'm just gonna put this out there. It's a love-hate relationship. I know, right? right? We, we love them to death, but then we spend too much money. So, <laughs> love-hate. So we're gonna open up and show you a build a figure from the what a recent wave of McFarland DC toys. So the build a figure is for Bane. If you don't know who Bane is, Bane is one of the uh, many villains that Batman takes on. He's a mercenary, happens to use some um, venom steroids uh, plus a lot like like. If steroids was on steroids was on steroids was on steroids. Anyway, Venom. Roy. And he, you know, bulks up. He was very famous in the 90s when he broke Batman's, he back. Broke Batman's back. Iconic. It was a big storyline. And I wish I had that comic. Maybe, <laughs> Mom and Dad, if it's in my room, can you please <laughs> send, send it, it to, to me? No. No, send it to me. Send it to me. I'm your favorite son, remember? I don't think that's true. Shh. Okay, fine. You know what? I accept it. So, John, I don't know if you want to lift this up, but Bane comes from a line of comics um, that's a short story um, called Last Night on Earth. And so it's kind of post-apocalyptic, and yes, that is Batman, if you can see through the glare. Batman um, is in a straitjacket, and that's Joker's head. We'll just gonna leave it at that. Um, so as you can see, and especially here with Scarecrow, Look how massive the body is with Bane. Um, and kind of like I was saying with, with Sugar Man and Jean Grey, like they somehow cram these humongous pieces into these cases. It's pretty extraordinary. Look at those thick arms, dude. He's a big boy. And Wonder Woman has a mohawk, right? Pretty yeah. awesome. You don't see that every day. No, you definitely don't. So that's our goal. Let's We're going to open these up, and we just wanted you to see what it's like building the figure, see what kind of articulation is there. Some are pretty good, some are not so good. Um, just because it's such a cool little feature. You know what I mean? Sometimes you get some pretty obscure characters that you'll never see before unless you build them. So, this is true. You ready for this? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's build a figure. <laughs> Don't copyright us, please. Uh, <laughs> why do we have boxes in front of our camera? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. Um, so, we, as I probably poorly explained in the intro, a lot of collectors will collect the entire wave of figures in order to build something special that won't come out uh, as its own figure. Um, 
So in this case, we wanted to show you Bane. Now, to collect Bane, you need the Last Night on Earth wave, which consists of a Batman, the Omega, a Scarecrow, and a Wonder Woman. And then, part the Red Sea. There he is. Let me show you guys. Let's just look at Scarecrow, since he's riding on Bane's back. Um, how do I do? Uh, what I, I'm going to say, what I really like is, I, I like how it kind of gives you a bit of info on how to put the character together. I think that's kind of cool. Normally you get some kind of grid that just shows you which figure will have which pieces. Um, which obviously, good. It's, it, I mean, you need that. Um, I just, I don't know why, I just kind of dig, dig that. Like, in case there's any question on how to build it, you know, you just got quick, simple, just pop things in place here and you're good. Hold up. It's not that simple. Well, this one wasn't. No. <laughs> Most build the figures are simple. This one... I will recommend having a heat gun, a hair dryer, something to loosen up the parts because he was a pain in the took us. Okay. But I let's let's look at the figure in full. Now in last oh, don't do it, Bane. Okay, sorry, he was wobbly. I was like, don't you fall over. In the series, in, in well, it's like a mini series, mm -hmm. um, set in the distant future, Batman is kind of, you know, I don't want to give away too many spoilers. Anyway, um, go read it. Batman has to, to you know, save Gotham, right? Spo shocker. Shocker. Um, what's, you know, this was kind of an interesting part of it where um, Bane is almost like this undead, like, zombie. Zombie. And Scarecrow just pops right on his back. See, he's tipping over. Like, he's... He's fucking, drunk with power. He is. Um, and, and Scarecrow's just kind of riding his back, kind of giving him instructions. Making he ain't got no with, legs. Whatever he wants. Yeah, he's, it's half a, half a crow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just... I told John we should probably have Scarecrow somehow fitting on the back. Because that's how it was in the comic. Mm -hmm. um, that's so funny that it keeps wobbling. Because he's a big boy. Yeah, and unfortunately, which John's about to show you, Bane is more for display. You're not going to really want to... Um, should I grab him real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Um, you're not going to want to actually pose him. Yeah, because <laughs> like, like, even like I had it in there, you're just going to want to make him stationary because trying to move the arms... It just comes off. Oh, jeez. It's not the most user-friendly. You see how stiff trying to move the legs? Yeah. This no. Is like, this is like the third one that kind of like has that weird crunch noise. Yes. You move stuff. It's weird. I mean, the nice thing is the head stays on, but yeah. If you get this one, I would recommend just choosing a pose and just keeping them that way maybe even like super gluing the joints so they don't keep popping out like this hand keeps popping out <laughs> how so how about a tip you, you mentioned unless i'm going crazy you didn't mention the hair dryer route mm -hmm. kind of loosening you know, putting some heat on there loosen up the the um the plastic the joints. yep the joints in the, in the plastic how long would you leave the 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 hair dryer on something like 20 um, seconds 30 seconds maybe 20 30 seconds okay. okay do not be like me and keep your hand in front of the heat because that gets hot really fast mm -hmm. so you just want to kind of blow it away from your hand on yeah. the spot that you're trying to get together but it works yeah i saw you move his arms a little bit but again i don't want to like have you move them because yeah, like you're not doing it's not a full articulation with like no. you have with any figure. Because if I try to move like the arms up and down for like a wingspan, it's probably gonna pop out. Right. And I'm sure most reviews that you've seen on this, they're gonna complain about the figure and just how it doesn't cooperate with you. I it mean doesn't. It's, it's 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 you can move the legs in and out. Ooh, but ooh. yeah, see as I was just trying to get a knee bend, the leg wanted to pop off. Yep. Like that's not good. I just the the but it's it's so cool. The detail is super cool. Um, I mean, it looks like classic Bane, but obviously the gray for a reason because he's pretty much undead. But you still got a venom. Um, let, can I just show you all something real quick? Do it, bro. It shows his innards. <laughs> 
That's nasty. Yeah. And then he's all hanging up on Bane's back, like, oh, hey, give me a ride, because mm -hmm. I don't got legs. You know, like, ew. Um... Well, I don't know what happened to him in the story. It's bring just, him back for a minute, actually. I, don't, I, don't, I have no idea. We'll have to, I'll have to read Last Night on Earth and see what's going on. So I just noticed the gripe that I have with this. Okay. I wish um, they would have I done... Focus? I don't think I'm in You're focus. good. Yes. Okay. So I wish they would have done a little bit more detail, like shading on here. Mm-hmm. That's just me. Yeah. I mean, you probably could add a little black wash and bring that out, but that's just kind of me, my little gripe to bear. It it's, it's definitely feels like mass-produced plastic with just enough lines in it to kind of make you feel like, oh, okay, I know what this is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, not a ton of detail. Um, I'm not sure why it's red in the needles. I'm not, I, I thought maybe that was his fear juice or whatever that he injects into people. Obviously, we need to go read it too. We obviously do. Um, in the comments, if you know, please tell us. Um, but man, he just, he gross. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But Here. he's so cool. Like, he, he just oh, yeah. I'm going to let you do the honors. Um, Obviously, you're, there's not going to be a whole lot of... <laughs> I, I guess I should ask, was there a stand that came with Scarecrow? There was a stand. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. but I didn't use it. Is it like a clear one like that goes around his waist? Um, It's one of those that kind of has the base and the arm that comes up oh, okay. and just kind of latches onto yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, what I did is there is a hole on Bane's back and I use this little piece on Scarecrow's noose and kind of use that to kind of pop him in place a little bit. Oh. And watch, it's not going to do it now because I'm on camera. Well, yeah, of course. But anyway, you guys get the idea. We'll have to fix it off camera. Yes. I was the one that broke it. Um, Ryan always breaks all my pretty things. I know, right? So there you have it, guys. Um, Again, suggestions for... If, if you're having trouble building these you know, putting these build a figure parts together, 20, 30 seconds of a, of a, um, of a, a blow dryer can, can loosen up the joints and help you stick things in. Um, I would say out of, you know, Marvel Legends is the other line that has tons of build a figures in their waves. And I don't, there's not as much trouble. I would no, say put, they know what together. they're doing. Mm -hmm. Um, Kudos to to McFarlane though for I think it's cool because um, for me just seeing some of the solicitations for the mini series I thought it was pretty striking to see you know Scarecrow and Riding Bane and he looked pretty formidable and and I, I like that they somehow found a way to get him in action figure form although he's not going to be like your typical action figure it's definitely pose and put him on the shelf um, in, instead of like playing with him which is fine you know. Yeah. I'm kind of curious to see what's the next build figure. Um, besides the... Um, the Dark uh, Father. Dark Father. Um, I wonder if, yeah, I, I kind of wonder if this is going to be something, you know, there's going to be that Batman Beyond wave, and I think they're going to be building the Brother Eye or Brother Joker bot thing. Oh, yeah, it's Joker the bot. Joker bot. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll I, see. Uh, yeah, we'll kind of see if he keeps this with this trend and he starts doing more build figures but... Um, hope you enjoyed it. We just, you know, the wave is cool. Um, we just kind of want to do something a little different and focus on the build a figure itself and just kind of give you a heads up. Um, we'd love to hear your feedback. Leave us a comment, like the video, share with your friends, um, and tune in next time. We got another great video for you and we hope you'll enjoy it. Um, until next time, have a good one.